So if you have a vehicle and you think you have a bad body control module, I thought I'd go over the symptoms of a bad body control module and some basic things that you can go check to see that might be causing the issue. And so first of all, what is a body control module? Well, modern vehicles can have multiple computers inside of them. They can have an engine control module, transmission control module, ABS module, and also a body control module. And each one of these computer modules, they control different things. So like a transmission control module, that would control all the transmission functions like shifting and things like this. An ECM or engine control module is going to control all the engine components. So things like injectors or the engine timing or the O2 sensors. An engine control module would just be focused on keeping that running. A body control module is just a computer that's controlling all the vehicle electronics that's in the body. So this would be things like the door locks, the horn, electric windows, the lights the windshield wipers, things like this. And the basics of how this works is say that you wanted to lock the door. Well, you'd hit the switch and that would be an input. So a signal is gonna be sent to the CAN bus and the CAN bus is just all the wires that's running around all the different computer modules because they all need to talk to each other for different information and things like this. And so they have what's called a CAN bus which is basically like ethernet inside of a home where you just have all the wires running to all the different computer control modules and they're talking to each other. But the input's gonna come in, then it's gonna go over to the body control module. The body control module is gonna see this and it's gonna lock the door. And the same thing is gonna happen with any other components located in the body that the BCM is controlling. And so when this body control module fails, one or more of these things are gonna to start to have issues. And so for example, while it is possible that just one of these components isn't working correctly, like the door lock or something, like that, that the circuitry inside the body control module for just the door lock has gone bad. It's more common that you have multiple failures. So your windows might not be rolling up and down. The door lock might not be working. The horn might not be working. Things like this. But at the same time that this is happening, the engine is running fine because it's being controlled by the engine control module. And so you very likely won't see no issues with it. Now, sometimes there can be engine control problems, mainly with things like with the key, like with the immobilizer circuit or something like that, because the body control module controls it. But quite often the engine is running fine, but you're having all these other problems with what's being controlled by the body control module. And so what would be some symptoms of a bad body control module? Well, first of all, any components that's being controlled by it, and this is gonna include things like the headlights, the horn, the radio, the AC system, electric windows, things like this, but some of those components might not be working or they might be working erratically. It's also very common that you get all kinds of dashboard warning lights come on. Quite often they just light up like a Christmas tree and just get all kinds of lights coming on on the dashboard. The battery might keep draining, and this is because one of the components might be shorted out or have a parasitic draw or something like that. So if you keep having to jumpstart the vehicle or get the battery charged and you know the battery's good, then that can be a symptom. There can also be problems in like the security system or even like the AC system or something along those lines. Also any kind of driver assist systems that the vehicle might have, they might stop working. And if you have a scan tool and you scan the onboard system, you're very likely you're gonna get communication codes. For example, a very common code would be like a U0140, last communication with body control module. But there's many other communication failure codes, and that is a very common symptom when the body control module goes bad. And so what are some things to check if you think you have a bad body control module? Well, first thing, be sure that your battery is good, it's fully charged, there's no issues going on with the alternator or anything like this. Basically, keep in mind that all those computer modules, they need a good power supply, or else there could be issues going on with them. And so be sure there's no issues going on there. You can also go check your fuses, be sure those are good. Definitely check out any of the PCM fuses, but you can also check out anything that's labeled like ECU or ECM or anything like this. Mainly just be sure to check out all the computer control module fuses and be sure that those are good. You can also check to be sure that that body control module is grounded good. All these modules need a good ground going around all of them. And sometimes these ground wires mess up and they just don't have a good ground wire. If you have a jumper wire, often you could just jumper to ground just to see if the problem clears. But you can go check to be sure that there's a good ground wire. You can also check the harness that's running around to all the different computer control modules. You can go through and check out this harness and check to be sure there's no damage going on to it. Sometimes these wires get damaged, rodents could get in there and chew on things and things like that. So sometimes they'll have physical damage that you can see. They can also get bad connections and things like this. Sometimes those harnesses just need to be pulled out and reseated back in. And sometimes that can clear codes, but you can't go around and check that wiring harness. And you can also go around to that body control module and just check to see if there's like a burnt smell. But sometimes when these computer modules fail, there'll actually be burnt spots inside of them or one of the capacitors might have blew up or something like that. And when that happens, quite often you could smell it. There'll be like a burnt smell or something like that. You can also open them up and just check to see if there's anything burnt on them. 
And while these can fail and there's no burnt spots on them, it does happen sometimes. So if you could go around and just smell for a burnt smell, then you know that board's no good. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over the symptoms of a bad body control module and some of the things you could check to see if it has failed. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.